Carmella and I'm 10 years old. I love doing zip wiring, rock climbing, abseiling. I love my modelling. I would describe my daughter Carmella as very tenacious. I mean, she's very courageous and brave. Carmella was diagnosed at the age of three with a life-limiting condition called LMNA, congenital muscular dystrophy. So it's a type of progressive muscle wasting condition that affects the skeletal muscles for movement, the muscles for breathing, and the heart muscle as well. There's currently no cure for Carmella's condition. The only treatment, which is not a medical treatment, is just keeping her mobile for as long as she can. The reason why we set up Cure for Carmella's Just Skipping page was purely Carmella's idea. She turned around about, I think she was five years old, and she said, Mum, what, what can I do about my condition? I've done many different front rest challenges, from simple ones like a bake sale, to medium ones like a 100 mile bike race, or to the really hard ones like a 300 mile walk. I wanted to do some different things, so we decided to use my passion of modelling. I've been interested in fashion for a long time. My first fashion show was when I was five, and I've done two of the fashion shows since. And the recent one we actually did for Julia's House Children's Hospice that Kamala receives respite for. I love walking down the catwalk. I just can't stop smiling when I go on the walk. She just beams on that catwalk. You can see the joy. I'm just in awe of her. Carmella predominantly fundraises for Muscular Dishes for UK. I'm happy to say we've raised over £400,000. I want to do more than the future because I want to inspire other boys and girls with a disability to be able to wear fashion that helps them and inspire them to do whatever their dreams may be. My name is Logan and I'm seven years old. And my name is Jake and I'm 10 years old. If I had to describe Jake and Logan, I would say they're a mix of crazy, kind, loyal. Luke was a very hands-on dad. He was there for everything with the boys. They had the best relationships. Luke was diagnosed with leukemia at age 15 and he went into remission for 17 years. Unfortunately, in early December last year, Luke was admitted to hospital after being formally diagnosed with leukemia again. And in February, unfortunately, we were told that the chemotherapy hadn't had any effect. It was at that point then that the boys came up with the idea of fundraising for Leukemia UK. We decided to run 100K in March because our dad had leukemia. The boys deciding to do the run completely changed the atmosphere of the house. It gave us something new to focus on. We got Luke out of the house to come and watch them run. To get ready for our training and doing the 100K, we did little jogs. And then little jogs got bigger and bigger. I like doing the training because it's fun. I think the biggest thing that shocked us was the support that the boys received, not just from friends and family, but the wider community. On the last day, we had eight kilometres to go. It was Easter Sunday. They wanted to eat chocolate. <laughs> they had to come out and run. When we crossed the finish line, there was a big banner saying 100K. I was incredibly proud of them when they crossed that finish line. So we raised over £9,300 for Leukemia UK. Sadly, just three weeks after Jake and Logan had completed their challenge, they lost their daddy. They are, you know, these two just beautiful, smiley, happy children. And the whole family is just so incredibly proud of what they've achieved and what they continue to do on a daily basis. William and I am eight years old. I would describe William as a very happy little boy but also a very determined little boy. When William was three years old he was struck down by sepsis. This was as a result of having scarlet fever. He had a cardiac arrest and his heart stopped. He wasn't expected to survive. Thankfully after eight days in a coma he came through 
Unfortunately, the sepsis caused irreversible damage to his body. He ended up having both legs and nine fingers amputated. It was so difficult to imagine how William would be and what he would be able to do, and how he would have a normal childhood, really. He's overcome every obstacle. He's found his own way to do everything. He's so determined. It had been four years since my surgery, so I came up with the idea of the four mile challenge. The four mile challenge was two miles on my bike and two miles walking. He'd not walked anywhere near that distance at that time. To prepare, we did long walks on weekends and long cycles on weekends. On the day of the challenge, lots of friends and family came to support me. My sister Georgia was there on the day and did all the challenge with me. My favourite thing about supporting William was cycling next to him. I felt very proud of William when he finished the challenge. We wanted to raise money for Nottingham Hospital's charity. The hospital not only saved his life, but they provide the parents' accommodation. I couldn't leave the hospital, so to have a, a room where I could go and get a few hours sleep, and that was all funded by the charity, so we've always wanted to do something to give back to that charity. So far, I've managed to raise over £8,000. I'm so proud of William. He's come such a long way. He's been through a lot, and he continues to go through a lot. You know, day-to-day -day life is more difficult for him, and he has a lot of frustrations, but. He just smashes every challenge with a smile on his face.